afternoon. Mr. Why Not here. So I'm just going to show you my project you might want to follow. So why not try this? Because I've seen the one where you router the system in. I've seen the one where you lay the wires onto it. And I thought, I wonder if you could just try. So I had a look round and see what I could find. And I found some chain and some sprockets. And I got a motor off a car windscreen. And then I got these figures. And I made the snowboards myself. I painted the figures. I made the skis. And I put it all together and I thought it would really look fine with movement. So this is what I've done. So these are the chains and the cogs. And the motor of a car seems to have more oomph to it than it does the others. And they seem quieter. It's 12 volt, I wired it up to a to 12 volt plug. You see there's two magnets underneath each figure. And the snowboards I've been myself. And I put some felt on each of the to magnets underneath because it does stop it scraping. It does seem to make it smoother. Because I find you could uh, easily put this to any system. Even on uh, 6 mil or 3 mil boarding. Because I think you just use a bit stronger magnet. Because then you're not you're not cutting your model to pieces. You're just laying your chain out, whatever route you want to take, because it'll do for cars, boats, anything like that. And this is just a mock up. And I think it works really well. Because I'm going to make a ski lift next to go at the side. So I want to show you underneath and show you what uh, I've done. But once you make the system, it seems a lot better system because it does save you a lot of time. Because I found it, I was drilling holes and I had no need I could stick the things underneath to attach the cogs to. The nut and bolt, you can just stick them on and it's got enough strength to hold it. So I'll have to show you what I mean. Afternoon, Mr. Why Not here again on my second video. Are you thinking why didn't you put, uh, put this into the other video? Simple fact is I don't know where the pause button is. That's why so I'm gonna have to make another video and I can't pause it. So you just have to put it up with me. This is what I was telling you about with the chain. I forgot to mention it's plastic. So I was looking on the internet and I found plastic chain because the bike chain is too heavy and there's the cogs sprockets, cogs and there's the motor out of the car that's a windscreen wiper motor and as you can see there's magnets underneath so when you put magnets on it shows you how far the sprocket's got to stand up like that and I've tried all sorts I've tried springs to give it a bit of flexibility so when it's moving I've tried without the two washers which you can see these I cut myself on the gadget I made up and they seem to be working fine there's no problem with them they just carry the chain 
So you just link the chair, put a cog onto the motor if you can see it. And that's the same, you put your magnets on first and then it shows you where your motor's got to go. How far up to let the magnets ride underneath. And it keeps it close, but once you put your figures on, they stick to the magnets anyway, so it doesn't make any difference what you do. It just helps you. But like I say, you just lay your chain down and then make a line as a rough guide. And then you just measure from your chain to your centre of your sprocket. Cog, whatever. And it, you just stick it down. See there, I've made holes for them to come through. This one I haven't. This one I just uh, got the super glue because they flat ended bolts. And so I just stuck it down with super glue and then I used hot glue just to make it a bit safer. And they're really solid. They don't do a lot. So they just guide the chain. So then I put that on there and I put another to wash it on to stop it to uh, snagging and it seems to work well put some oil on it and I put uh, that side the computer because it just keeps it nice and cool it doesn't get that hot but it, I don't like them getting too hot so that's just a safeguard thing and I've hooked it up to the same wire and it all works fine I'm going to turn it on to show you. So I tried nut and bolt and then I tried to hold it on with some plastic out of a pen just so I don't have to keep undoing nut and bolts so it makes it easy just to take off if I want to take it off because to work the system out it, it took a lot of taking off, putting on, taking well you can see we all the holes that one we're going to be the motor but you just decide where you're going to put your motor as your main fee kind of thing because you can put it anywhere really on there you could don't have to use the corner which I did do so it's closer to the power but I find it really does it's really good and I put the magnets on with super glue As you can see, but when I do it properly, I'm going to uh, stick them on, same as that one. Then it saves drilling holes in whatever you're going to use, board in anything. This is tin with a plastic coating in middle. When it, I use this because it's white, and I did a snow scene. But the thing is, the system I've just made does take a lot of cogs which you don't think about at the time but it's for skiers to go round and round and round but I think on a car system or a boat system you'd lose use less cogs it's just but what I've made it takes a lot of cogs which you don't think of at the time because I started off with five and then I had to get some more and then get some more and I thought I'll make my own and I made a jig to make them and it's uh, it's working I'll have to show you the jig when I made because I just copy what's there so that's just uh, 3 mil uh, plastic but it didn't just happen, it, uh, this has took uh, over a month to get right which when you think about it once you've done it you think well it's just but you don't know your distance between that and that at the time for keeping it straight and vice versa because sometimes it can be off offset so you do have to move them I oiled the chain a bit I don't think of any need but I just did just to help it along which is really quiet it is really quiet and the other system is, is we have to lay a to you lay the track in it 
you have to router it out then the other one is the wire where you have to charge your vertals up this once you've set this up it automatically does it itself so it's just but it's getting the height from there with your magnets on and then the measurement from there to there for putting your bolt up once your bolt's on that's it really you just put it on and off you go but I find it's better if you put one on and then you put the chain there and just link the chain inside and it shows you where to go so uh, please make no, let me know what you think and like and comment but I think you'll be able to put bolts and cars and all, everything to this without making any holes as I did make a lot of holes it, there's holes all over but there's no need that's glued down with the hot glue hot gun and it seems to it's because there's no pressure at all really it's not it's just guides rather than pressure but it does seem a quieter system and I think I will stick with the plastic just to shove on and take off and if I don't want to move it anyway it's just an easier fact of just pulling it off taking it over there taking chain off or putting chain on and it's easy enough to take to pieces it's just a bike chain with a cogs so please tell me what you think any ideas please let me know so why not try it if you do try it please show me because if you've got any ideas I'll copy yours and you can copy that that's what modeling is about thank you